on the actual operating cadence in order to achieve both impact and speed, we aligned as a leadership team and with our CEO on ensuring he, myself, and the CTO were aligned on the problems to solve and the goals. And to do that, we introduced program reviews. Um, so each pod had on either a weekly or a biweekly cadence, a touch point with our CEO or CTO and myself, the PMs and EMs and designers, the, we call them the like three stools of the chair, all critical to driving success. Um, they owned the agenda and the key kind of agenda items could be things like strategy alignment, roadmap prioritization and alignment, going deep on a problem or how to approach a problem, going deep on metrics and the kind of core KPIs of a given pod, but the PM kind of owned setting what that agenda would be given where they were. Uh, but we always had that touch point and we could use that to have conversation to pull up. Um, and this enabled teams to kind of go quickly to get alignment. Um, you know, CEO schedules are very hard to come by. Um, if a PM, for example, needed alignment from the CEO outside of that window, we had a Slack channel called product exec feedback, and we would use that for async alignment. Uh, and PMs or EMs or designers would create a loom and say like, here's the problem. Here's how we're thinking about approaching it. Here's where I'd like your feedback. Um, and then we'd always leave either those program reviews or ask for explicit feedback in Slack with clear action items or decisions. And that's really the key thing. Like not no process for the sake of process, process for the sake of driving decisions or alignment or action was kind of how we thought about it. And if you don't have anything to talk about the program review, cancel it. Like we're not here to waste people's time. We're here to drive forward. Um, and that's really how we thought about it. Um, and then we also had a weekly roadmap review for all PMs, EMs, designers, leadership. And that was definitely more tactical and more for accountability purposes. Did you ship when you said you were gonna ship? Are we behind schedule on something? If so, how do we get it back on schedule? Do you have any blockers or decisions that need to be made? And often kind of AIs from there would go into a program review or async um, to that channel that I mentioned. So just regular touch points throughout the week um, uh, was really important. And then maybe lastly on the process front for anything that was P1, which is kind of our highest level, we only use P0 for like house on fire. Um, we would gant those projects out, which again, feels very tactical, but it, it really works in just kind of getting teams in motion. And, you know, my belief is like once they're in motion, like maybe you don't have to get that granular or stay that granular and like review at that level over time. But for the things you really care about, like the, the amount of ownership that teams took on because of this kind of visibility and you know help us understand where you are in the product development process was insanely helpful in driving velocity. We could call out things like, hey, why is it taking eight weeks of dev time to ship this like very small feature? What's the deal? Um, and ask questions to really probe at it and see if we could bring in uh, timeframes and things of that sort. That's 